Okay, we're now going to start digitizing some polygons. Um, we've got some iconos imagery up in the background. Uh, we have our example polygons. Uh, layer selected. We make the layer editable. And let's zoom in a little bit more. And we're going to do this area of housing here. And okay, select digitize. And let's start. Okay, so you left click around the areas and then you right click when you want to finish. And you can add your data in. Okay, now because of the snap settings, our left click becomes again onto the end. Now you'll notice here, draw around. And if we right click here, click on OK. Have these two polygons and they share that same boundary. Hooray! Um, and we can carry on and on like this. So you need to pay a little bit of attention as to where your lines are going to meet up. So we'll add one here and then we'll add another close there. Okay, and then here. And start and we're snapping and we close and then we right click. So all of these are sharing those boundaries. Okay, we can go on. So it takes quite a bit of concentration to make sure you're doing these in the right place. But there you are. You see, we can go on and on, on like this. Um, that's great when your, your polygons are, are relatively simple. Uh, we'll go on um, about how that might be an issue in a, in a later video. Um, you don't have to do it like this. You can look at digitizing through in this way, but... This might create problems for you later on. It looks like this one's overlain here, but if we turn on the styles, put on transparency, we'll see that we've got overlap here. Uh, and so if you don't get these things mapping onto each other, you can get issues referred to as sliver polygons here and small bits so it can be quite a, a consuming way of digitizing okay let's finish 